Hi everyone, our subject today is recurrent fever, periodic and relapsing fever. Periodic fever and relapsing fever are characterized by episodes of fever recurring at regular or irregular intervals. Each episode is followed by one to several days, weeks or months of normal temperature. Examples are seen in malaria, brucellosis, familial Mediterranean fever, and periodic fever of the stomatitis, pharyngitis, and cervical adenitis. A relapsing fever is a recurrent fever caused by numerous species of Borrelia and uh, transmitted by lice, louse-borne relapsing fever or ticks, tick-borne relapsing fever. Familial called urticaria syndrome, Mikkel-Willis syndrome, tumor necrosis factor receptor associated periodic syndrome, and hyperimmunoglobulinemia D syndrome are also characterized by a recurrent episode of fever, but they are rare compared with the familial Mediterranean fever. Possible diagnosis in infant common causes familial Mediterranean fever, brucellosis, malaria, and uh, Muckel Wells syndrome, cyclic neutropenia. Rare causes is uh, familial called urticaria syndrome. In children, common causes malaria, brucellosis, familial Mediterranean fever, and uh, periodic fever of the stomatitis, pharyngitis, and cervical adenitis, and cyclic neutropenia. Rare causes include familial called urticaria syndrome, uh, traps, uh, tumor necrotic factor receptor associated periodic syndrome, Muckel uh, wells syndrome, and uh, hyperimmunoglobulinemia D syndrome. Differentiation. In malaria, there will be uh, myalgia, arthralgia, and possible uh, prevalent in Mediterranean area. Brucellosis, also myalgia, arthralgia with the Mediterranean area. Familial Mediterranean fever, there will be inheritance, positive inheritance. Periodic fever from uh, three to six weeks. There is uh, myalgia and arthralgia with the Mediterranean area. Periodic fever of the stomatitis, pharyngitis, and cervical adenitis, there will be inheritance. Periodic fever, three to six weeks. Mouth ulcer. Cyclic neutropenia, also there will be inheritance and periodic fever every three to six weeks. And mouth ulcer. Recommended investigation, complete blood count. For neutropenia less than 1000 will confirm cyclic neutropenia. IgD is elevated in uh, hyperimmunoglobulinemia D syndrome and in the majority of cases of <coughs> uh, periodic fever of the stomatitis, uh, pharyngitis, cervical adenitis. GIMSA stain smear for malaria, serological test for brucellosis, C reactive protein, and ESR usually elevated. Top tips. Genetic causes of periodic fever syndrome have been identified in the past few years. The term auto-inflammatory disease has been proposed to describe a group of disorder characterized by attacks of unprovoked systemic inflammation without significant level of autoimmune or infective causes. Familial Mediterranean fever occur in individuals from Mediterranean ancestry who usually present with the loss of appetite and abdominal pain due to peritonitis, uh, peritonitis about 6 to 10 hours later, fever occur and rapid recovery ensures within 24 to 72 hours. Peel-Ebishten fever was originally thought to be characteristic of Hodgkin lymphoma. Only a few patients with Hodgkin disease develop this pattern but when present, it is suggestive of Hodgkin disease. The pattern consists of recurrent episode of fever lasting three to 10 days, followed by an a febrile period of similar duration. Episodes of fever after stomatitis, pharyngitis, and cervical adenopathy are the most common clinical feature of auto-inflammatory disease. 
each episode is followed by septum free interval ranging from weeks to months. Patients with familial Mediterranean fever usually respond dramatically to colchicine at 0.6 mg 6 hourly for uh, 4 doses, which is also effective in preventing attacks of familial Mediterranean fever and the development of amyloidosis. For those with the periodic fever after stomatitis, pharyngitis, uh, and cervical adenitis, Steroid therapy is very effective in controlling fever and other symptoms within two to four hours. Immunoglobulin D is elevated in the majority of cases. Amyloidosis commonly complicate familial Mediterranean fever. Proteinuria is often the clue of the disease. The best site to confirm diagnosis is by biopsy from the gingiva or rectum, not from kidney or spleen. Cyclic neutropenia, autosomal dominant, is characterized by pharyngitis, mouth ulcer, and lymphadenitis. It is easily diagnosed by recognizing the periodicity of septum and neutropenia. The resolution of febrile episode in the periodic fever may be accompanied within a few hours, 6 to 8 hours, by the jarish hexamer reaction, which is usually followed by antibiotic treatment. The reaction is caused by release of endotoxin when the organisms are destroyed by antibiotics. This reaction is very common after treating patients with syphilis. Thank you for your listening.